Best free video editing software to start with. Hell of a topic, we're gonna handle it. My name is Jack, I produce daily content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money make a video. Subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. Now, my philosophy of the best free video editing software to start with, right? Um, is gonna be a little bit interesting because it's not necessarily the best free video editing software, right? The one to start with, in my opinion, isn't necessarily the absolute best one. So I'll talk about the best free video editor later in this video, but let's start with the best free video editing software to start with, right? That's a little different. And my philosophy for that is, I think the best free video editing software to start with is the one that's just the simplest to understand, right? If you have no previous experience using video editors, it could be a little bit overwhelming to see, you know, the layout, the interface of an editor, you're not too sure what's what, and uh, that can sort of be a little bit too much to, uh, you know, to actually prevent you from wanting to carry on learning because you think there's too much to learn. You're overwhelmed, right? Um, so I think you want to start with a super simple editor that you can actually learn the chops and cuts, right? How to actually chop and cut stuff, how to, you know, do basic stuff like add text and just overall get over that uh, kind of hump of actually being scared of the program itself, right? So a couple editors, which in my experience are great, and I'm going to link the full videos of me breaking down those editors. I'll link the editors in the description and the further videos of me doing breakdowns of just those editors, right? Not like the, the top ones like this, like the full dedicated video to the editor. So Olive, Olive is a great editor. I made a video a month or two ago breaking it down and calling it probably one of the best uh, beginner video editors because of how simple it is. It's like, you know, just the pure basics. You can't do anything crazy advanced in there. So if you want an editor that's just simple to learn, Olive Video Editor's great, link in description. Another one, which was what I learned on, I started video editing when I was 11 years old or 10 years old, yeah, 10 years old, 11 years ago, right? I was using Windows Live Movie Maker, legendary program. If you could find that, grab that. That's a great one to just teach yourself the basic chops and cuts with. And also, if you're on if you're on Mac, iMovie. iMovie is a relatively decent one. You know, you can't do too crazy advanced stuff. You can't do advanced stuff in all of Windows Live or iMovie. But in iMovie, if you're on the Mac, it's a great one. That's already just it's on your computer already, right? You don't even have to download it. All Macs have iMovie. I'm pretty sure. Like. Comment below if, if that's not the case, but I'm pretty goddamn sure it's the case. I'm a Windows guy anyways, right? Um, but iMovie is a relatively simple one to teach yourself how to chop and cut. Now, it's a little bit different in that one because it's got a bit of a different uh, timeline from, from the way I remember it. But at the end of the day, overall, any of those video editors are great free video editing software that you can download and get over the hump of, of you know being scared of the video editor and essentially teach yourself the absolute basics. Now, the link in the, in the description to all of those and a full dedicated video of me breaking them down. But um, those aren't necessarily the best free video editing software. They're, in my opinion, some of the best free video editing software to start with. But the actual best free video editing software, in my opinion, goes to DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is actually an advanced top tier video editing software. It's a great program. You can do pretty much anything in there. And uh, you know, it can easily compete with a paid program like a Premiere or something like that. Um, there's a couple differences, obviously, plenty of differences, but it's it's the closest to competing with paid video editors, right? DaVinci, great video editing software. I'll, I'll link that down below as well as a dedicated video. HitFilm Express is another great uh, advanced but still free video editing software. Make sure to get HitFilm Express and not HitFilm. There's one just called HitFilm, which is paid. It's like hundreds of dollars, and then you got HitFilm Express, which is totally free, and uh, overall, it's a great free video editing software. Shotcut, another totally free video editing software that is, uh, you know, a little bit more beginner centric. It, it's a bit more beginner than DaVinci and HitFilm, um, but overall, it's not quite as beginner as Olive, Windows Live Movie Maker, and goddamn iMovie. Those are about as simple as it gets. Um, and then VSDC, VSDC, they're great. They're another more beginner centric one, but still pretty advanced video editor. You can do a whole bunch of, you know, pretty, pretty dope stuff in there at the end of the day. I've made a fair few videos on it because it, uh, it is an intriguing video editor and there's a lot you can do in there. But those right there are the best free video editing software, hands down. Those four right there, DaVinci Resolve, HitFilm Express, Shotcut, and VSDC. Top tier um, free video editing softwares. Um, but if you want something to start with, I mean, feel free to take all of those. Those are great ones to start with. Download those, the link to the description, then go watch my full dedicated tutorial on them. You'll understand how to use it, I'm sure. But I'm just trying to move at the pace as the slowest person, if you know what I mean. If you ever heard that little saying, I fucking just butchered the saying, but I'm sure you've heard a similar saying. Um, and that's the reason why I'm showcasing the absolute most basic editor you could possibly get, which is something like Olive, Windows Live Movie Maker, and, and iMovie. But my real strategy 
of what you should do when you're starting video editing is actually different to what I've just said right there, which might be a little bit weird to wrap your head around since I've just pitched a video to you. But if people ask me nowadays, especially in the context of wanting to make money video editing, right? They're like, Jack, I wanna make money doing freelance video editing. How do I do it? I know nothing right now, which is a strange position to come into it, trying to learn the skill just to make money out of it. But it's definitely a real position that people are coming into the game as. Um, and I don't tell them to download these free video editing software because it's a bit different. If you're trying to do this as a freelance video editor, make money doing it, you kind of have to go to Adobe Premiere Pro, which is the sort of the industry standard, if you will. Now you don't have to. Shout out to my man, Master ETH. He's killing the freelance game, just doing Hit Film Express. He's using the free one, Hit Film Express. But um, generally speaking, you're gonna be kind of limited if you're using those editors, unless you're just extremely great at that editor. Because by the way, if you could just do some phenomenal stuff uh, in an editor, you don't necessarily need to upgrade to the next program. It's only if you're actually being held back by a program, which if you're in your early stages, you potentially will be getting held back by these programs um, if you're trying to do it freelance wise. So my actual advice to people who wanna do it freelance wise or people who wanna cut the bullshit and go straight to just like, kind of the top, if you will, the top at the end of the day, right? Is go ahead and get yourself Adobe Premiere Pro. Now it's not it's not a free video editing software, which is counterintuitive to my title of the video, um, but it's definitely kind of like the the top top dawn, if you will, in the video editing space. And overall, uh, you know, if you're trying to cut the bullshit and go straight to the top, um, Adobe Premiere Pro is a great spot to, to you know to to start off with. You can get yourself a free trial though. If, if you're not too sure, you can get yourself a seven day free trial, which used to be a thirty day free trial, but uh, they cut it down to seven days. I think earlier this year, to be honest, uh, it was always a thirty day trial before that. And uh, basically, um, that right there is my best free video editing software to start with. To conclude, I would advise that if you're you know nothing, you just grab yourself something like Olive, Windows Live Movie Maker, or iMovie. These are great beginner editors that are not going to overwhelm you. You can download them in the description link below and uh, you can actually get your hands on a video editor and start kind of getting over the hump or the, or the hurdle of uh, you know of of being intimidated by the editor essentially right which happens to the most of us when I started music production a couple years ago right I was intimidated as fuck by Fruity Loops and by um Logic X right these are the software you use for making music same thing for me I, I loaded it up I was like uh oh you know scratch my head scratch my chin uh, rub, rub my belly. I said, what are we doing here? This is what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? Because there's just so much going on. Um, that you sort of need to, uh, you know, get yourself unoverwhelmed, um, overwhelmed. Uh, <laughs> Don't know what just happened there. You you kind of just have to have a basic understanding of the program before you can teach yourself anything advanced and before you kind of graduate to that. But overall, all those editors are linked down below in the description as well as accompanying tutorials, breaking everything down further. Whichever one you pick, it was a good idea because that's the one you picked. Everything happens for a reason. Big up to you guys. Have a nice day and I'll see you in an upcoming video. Take it easy. All right, what you're about to see now is me basically giving a brief overview of those dedicated videos for the best free video editing softwares for DaVinci Resolve, Shotcut, and HitFilm Express. And I'm pretty much giving an analysis and an overview of what you can expect from watching those videos. I recorded this a very long time ago, but me editing this video right now, um, I'm in a desperate attempt to hit the 10 minute mark and this is my desperate attempt. Enjoy. The shotcut one essentially runs through how to actually uh, compose a basic sequence, then how to actually do some color correction, and then finally how to actually export. Uh, the Hit Film Express one runs through how to compose a basic sequence, um, how to actually uh, do some edits, I'm pretty sure, and how to add some text and titles, and then also how to export, and then finally DaVinci Resolve, which I uploaded just the other day, is breaking down the process of editing a sequence together and composing a sequence, then adding transitions, adding titles, adding effects, and overall all of these three videos are going to give you a much uh, more rounded perspective of the video editor. Um, I kind of forgot what I was about to say right there. I said perspective. <laughs> um, it's early in the morning, my bad. But essentially guys, if you watch this video right here, this is just a follow-up video to direct you guys to this top three best free video editors playlist that's going to be linked down below in the description where you can go over there and learn a little bit more about the video editor that you may have chosen. And uh, you know what I mean? Like I said, the reason I'm doing that is just because this video has blown up so much.